Hi, uh, this is my prediction for the basically the last good fight of the year or the last you know um, big name fight of the year, which is between WBA super featherweight champion Takashi Uchiyama and challenger Brian Vasquez, which takes place in Japan. Um, I think that Uchiyama is clearly the odds-on favourite to win this one in um, his own country. And I don't know too much about Brian Vasquez, except what I've seen on YouTube, which, um, you know, I did some research for this video. And I had some, uh, I, you know, saw some footage of him and all that. So I can only really go by what I've seen in clips. And um, I'm not even sure what sort of style he has, because he looks like a boxer puncher who gets into brawls, but who actually thinks he's a bit of a skillster. So I'm not sure if he even knows what sort of a, you know, style he has. So, I don't know too much about Brian Vasquez, except that he didn't look that impressive, really. I know he's a prospect, and I know he's about 25, and I know I read up about him years and years ago, but, you know, the fact that um, he's getting a title shot, despite not really having any big wins on his record at all. I mean, he's got, a, you know, one or two decent wins, but nothing spectacular. Um, I think he's lucky to get a title shot, especially against someone like Uchiyama, who is actually a really good, um, really good boxer, really good punch boxer puncher. He's won his last eight by knockout, or if you take away um, the one he had earlier this year against Michael Farinas, which ended in um, a headbutt. But if you go to his other eight fights before that, uh, he won them all by um, stoppage. So the guy's got power. He's a really good boxer puncher. He's one of Japan's best. And despite only having, I think it's about 20 fights uh, and being 32, um, he still looks like he's got some time left to go. And he's got some good wins on his record against guys like Jorge Solis, who he stopped in the 11th, and um, Juan Carlos Salgado, who he beat in the 12th. And Salgado is now the IBF champion. So I think Uchiyama is red hot favorite to win this one and i think it's all his to throw away like for example like i said i don't know too much about vasquez from the fights i've seen him in against combat uh, against competition who was nowhere near as good as uchiyama he didn't look that great um so you got to think against a top class opponent like uchiyama unless he shows up on the night and he shows something that people haven't seen of him yet you've got to think uchiyama is going to win this one um so I think um, Uchiyama wins this one. Uh, I don't think he'll stop him early and I don't think he'll stop him in the middle rounds. That would be, you know, the best case scenario for him. His biggest wins against biggest opponents have been late on, like in the 11th and the 12th. So I think if he does win by stoppage, it will be late on. It will be from round 10 onwards. So round 10, 11 or 12. I can't see it being stopped any sooner than that. But I wouldn't be at all surprised if it goes the distance. Um, I tend to pick the distance. I always tend to pick the decision when it's a um, difficult fight to predict. But, um, and I think I think it probably does go the distance. Um, because, you know, all these knockout ratios that you see, you know, eight fights on the trot by knockout or ten fights on the trot by knockout and all of that, they all tend to come to, a, come to an end. Uh, so I think the safe money is probably on a points decision, even though, you know, I think the bookies have probably got him odds on to stop him late on. Um, so those are the two, basically those are the two predictions which I think um, we will be looking at in this one. All right.